Hey there, folks. Today we're gonna tell you about the Yanomami tribe. They're one of the most populated tribes living in the jungles on the border between Brazil and Venezuela. The Yanomami are infamous for their bloody reputation. They're known for killing people for the smallest of reasons, even for a smile. Back in the 1970s, when anthropologists established the first contacts with the Yanomami tribe, their population was estimated to be around 20,000 people. Today, it has significantly decreased to about 32,000. This is due to the fact that the tribe has been facing the intrusion of logging companies and colonizers who are taking over their territory. The Yanomami have fought and continue to fight for their lands, and many of them have died in this struggle. But why are the Yanomami so ruthless? The thing is, they have their own set of values and morality. They believe that death is a part of life, and people should be ready for it at any moment. Therefore, they have a very philosophical attitude towards death and even celebrate it. However, this doesn't mean that the Yanomami are merciless. They are very protective of their territories and resources, and if someone violates their laws, they won't hesitate to act. They can kill for the slightest reason, such as someone laughing or joking at their expense. In the culture of the Yanomami, warriors are highly valued and they perform a variety of different rituals to demonstrate their strength and bravery. One such ritual is the naked dance in which young warriors fight each other without any weapons. But not all Yanomami are cruel. They also have their own culture and art. They create beautiful patterns on their bodies. The thing is, the Yanomami have ancient traditions related to body art. They apply various patterns on their bodies that symbolize different aspects of their lives, from nature and animals to heroic deeds and religious rites. These patterns can be very complex and colorful, and they use natural dyes such as redwood and clay to create them. Moreover, the Yanomami are known for their unique musical instruments. They make them from natural materials such as bamboo, wood, and animal horns, and use their voices, breath, and various playing techniques to create sounds. Their music, although it may seem strange to our ears, has a deep meaning and is connected to their religious and cultural traditions. Therefore, despite their reputation as cruel and aggressive people, the Anomami also have rich culture and art. Studying their traditions and customs can help us better understand many aspects of human life, including our own roots and origins.